All right, so we're getting into it. Let me explain what's going to happen the 1st of December. Right now, my phone calls are filling up. Now, what are these phone calls? They're information because I started consulting and I've been talking to people and I'm seeing that there's what I have in mind and there's what they have in mind. And part of this is a big, big information gap. And this is what the new training is going to be about. There's going to be two tracks. There's going to be a group coaching track and there's going to be the baller status, which once again, this will be direct mentorship training. And I can't really do that many people because it's going to involve giving you my phone number, answering a lot of questions, going over your businesses, going over your business plan. Literally, it's going to be a lot of hands on training. So for the mentorship, there can only be so many. I would say maybe 40 to 50 at that. And after that, I'm going to have to shut it down. The membership is probably going to go on for about two months, two or three months, just depending once we get into it. And the group coaching is going to be going on for much longer than that. So if you want to be part of this, go below and fill out the questionnaire which it takes a minute and then book a call, which is free because we're about finding information to help you set up an online business. So that links below. All right. So one of the things that I've been thinking about is making money online. And there is a ton of ways to make money online. And I put up a video at the New Hustlers Kung Fu, and I was just talking about affiliate marketing. And someone left this comment, it's like, you just told me why I haven't been making money with affiliate marketing. There is a huge, huge segment of people on the internet who are trying to make money without all the proper tools. Like, let's go ahead and just talk about internet marketing because I have a lot of people who want to sign up for affiliate marketing. And this is the thing. If you have affiliate marketing, you have an offer, a company says, hey, if you put this link under your social media and someone buys, we'll give you a cut, right? I'll explain a story of someone who did this and they're going to make a lot of money from it. Um, but here's the thing, if you're like a regular person, you don't have a blog, you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't have a TikTok channel, you don't have an Instagram account, you have no source of traffic, it's gonna be really, really hard for you to make money. But there's this girl, she put out a video and I see her methodology. She put out a video and it was talking about how to create faceless YouTube videos. And she put this 26 minute video up and she called it an online course. A 26 minute video, which is supposed to be an online course. And then she says these keywords, go below and click the link, this link. She says it very definitively. So I went ahead and uh, I watched the video from start to finish. And then I clicked the link and I saw the link was an affiliate link. And I started to do some quick calculations because this person has traffic. She has a really successful YouTube channel. And by the time I came across the video it had maybe 50,000 views. And that's like, if 2% of the people sign up, if just 2% out of 5,000 people, just 2%, that's $5,000 for her. And if, you know, I, I meant to look, I didn't look today to see where the video is, but the video is like, her videos usually do 30 to 100,000. So she gets 100,000 people who watch that video and she gets 2%, which would be 2,000. She'll make like 30, 40, $50,000 from her affiliate mark. So for her, and once again, you know, she puts out these videos, it's like, hey, I'm 100% because it's very, very smart what she's doing. It's very, very smart. I'm 100% about this free training. And she, she says that other people charge thousands of dollars for the similar training. And she, she's a little bit deceptive with that because 
a 26 minute video isn't all the training that you need. That's not a course, but that's how she, that's, that's how she sells it. Like I said, really, really smart. I'm all about this free information, get this course, and you know, I'll, I'll check after this video, but if things go appropriate, and she gets like 100,000 views on this video, she can make $50,000 in affiliate marketing. And the thing is, you have to have the good offer, you have to have the traffic, and you have to have the pitch. And that's one of the things that she's really, really worked on. You know, she says it, I'm 100% about this free training, 100% in every video, because she's not making, she's making money from the people who are watching her videos, but she's making the money indirectly because there's no sales page, nothing. But you go ahead, you hit this link, you sign up, and this company's been doing affiliate program for about two years. So it's a real thing. And I signed up, I did not purchase it, but I signed up and essentially once you sign up and you can go ahead and sign up for the affiliate marketing thing, which with better education, I will say with better education, this could be, this could be something you can make some money from, but once again, there, there's little things that you need to know. And this is kind of what the group coaching is going to be about. And this is what the mentorship is going to be about filling in those fine details, because those details, they, they make a huge difference in whether you'll make money or not online. And this, this, this right here is one of the, the big things is, Everyone is, um, I can watch a YouTube video and pretty much know what the person who created the video is trying to do. And this is something that's going on with affiliate artificial intelligence and YouTube channels. You have a bunch of people who will come up and they will create a YouTube channel using uh, avatars or they'll use they, they'll never show their face. They'll never show their face. They'll have an avatar. There's like three that I follow that I watch to see what they're doing. And it all, they'll start it and their channels will grow really quick because they've done their research and they've used their keywords and stuff. So the channel grows and then three, four months in, they're selling something. Every time, every time they're selling something and I could say these guys are making a lot of money. I could say they're, they're making a lot of money because there was this one guy who put up this channel and his claim to fame is he's at $10,000 a month after three months on YouTube, which could be true because his channel, he gets the views. He, he gets a lot of views. And part of this is, and th this is something that I've seen. A lot of these people, and once again, credit to them for their honesty, they will tell you that they've been trying and trying and trying and they had many, many failures. So these people have gone through a school of failure where there's like, they tried this, it didn't work. They tried that, it didn't work. They tried this, they tried this. And then they figured some stuff out and they put together training to help people who are watching their videos. Because right now, I would say how to make money online is one of the hottest topics you can put in a YouTube video, you can put on a TikTok video, you can put on Instagram. It's one of the hottest topics. But, 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 one of the things that I see is people are leaving out finer details. They're leaving out important stuff that you need to make online. Number one, None of these folks ever say you should set up an LLC or you should set up an EIN or you should, have a, you, none, of, none of them. It's just like, do this, go ahead and get that money. And you could, as a sole proprietor, have your business set up, but I can tell you from personal experience, when you start making money, it is better to have your formal, your entity set up even if it's just a YouTube channel, it's, it's gonna be much, much better because 
with the things is you get to write off a lot of stuff if you have it set up and you know how to do it. But making money online is about policy and procedures. Like I said, I, I, I threw up a video on a, the new Hustlers Kung Fu. And you know, there's and just a, maybe I think the video is 15 minutes. And then instantly the guy watched it, he said, oh, this is why I'm not making money with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, and let me go ahead and say this. If you have the traffic, if you have the traffic, you can make a ton of money with affiliate marketing. You can make a ton of money with affiliate marketing. But the key is, if you have the traffic, and if you don't have organic traffic, um, my biggest affiliate marketing play was when I was representing the Divi credit card. I got $100,000 and that was with the old Savage Finance channel. I had a channel that was talking about money and I had an audience that was interested in money and people went in and I didn't really push that card that hard. I didn't really push it. I just put the link under my bio and in a year I made $100,000 just having that link there because I had the traffic. I had the organic traffic. Now, organic traffic and paid traffic behave very, very differently. So let's say I went to one of these affiliate marketing schools and I bought the course and they were talking about how to get this paid traffic. Now paid traffic is a science. You know, there, there's a lot that you have to do with paid traffic to make money with paid traffic. And one of the things is your offer. So let's go ahead and say, you're out here and there's people here right now who are spending a hundred thousand. There's some people spending a million a month on paid traffic. But once again, they're spending a million a month. I guarantee you that they got their sequences worked out the front end and the back end. I guarantee it. Um, because if you don't, that's a good way to lose a lot of money. But one of the things that we're going to do, like, you know, uh, with the questionnaire, like the thing I said in the front, go answer the questions because everyone that answers the questions and helps me out is going to get a discount. And one of the things that I consistently see is the lack of thorough explanation. I put up a video talking about uh, what you want to see on this channel. I knew that video wasn't going to get a lot of views. I just did it just to see what would happen. Then someone actually, and this is the thing, is everyone put on the channel, which is fair because I asked, what do you want to see? I asked, what did you want to see? And they put up what they wanted to see. And then if someone put out, I want to see a thorough explanation of how to set up a holding company and LLCs and stuff. And I, I started laughing because typically, and I've said this many, many times, unless you have a business that's making money, the holding company and the LLC stuff doesn't work for you. I've said this over and over again, but people are, fantasizing about the holding company, the LLC playbook. And, you know, I will say if you start a business and this is my belief, this is my belief system that you should have an LLC. You should have an EIN. You should have all this. You should be set up to win from that accountability standard. And one of the things that you have to do is understand what you're doing and this this is one of the reasons because like I said I've had a few consulting calls and the same thing happened over and over again I was talking to people and there's what's this called this blind spot this blind spot of information these people are not stupid they're not dumb they just are unseasoned they, they're unseasoned and with this unseasoning it creates a lot of problems because I will say this, without my coaching and training, if you were to stick with it, however many years that took, you would probably figure it out. But how many years would that take? Let me share a story with you. When I was in the military, I tried to start multiple businesses and they all failed. Then I just got disgusted with the whole process and I stopped. 
And then I did not try to start a business. I worked a regular job for seven-ish years. And then my life changed. And this is when I was homeless and went to the boarding house. And there I had to figure out some stuff. And then, you know what I did? I did not start a business. I got a better job. That's the key. That was the key to my sex. So I got a better job and then I got, I went from one job and I got an even better job. And then I got a better job. And during that better job is when I started my first successful business. And it was like, oh, because one of the things is, and this is where I think a lot of you guys are, you have so much to learn. You have so much to learn. You can be successful. You can start an online business, but there's this learning path. There's all of this stuff that you have to learn. And, you know, I, I find it intriguing, really intriguing because I say things in videos and I'll actually say it. Like when I came to YouTube, I had a YouTube channel, I had a blog and I had a book. And I have one thing, I had three things working for me. And I was able to leverage that into a lot of pure internet money. But I'll say that in the video and people will not hear, they'll hear like, I, I, I had a consultant call with someone that's like, she was, she was so delightful. She was very, very delightful. I, I think, she, I, I know she's gonna get in the course, in the training. She wrote this book and she put it on Amazon. And we were having a conversation and I was like, and you haven't sold a one. She says, not a single one. And then I went through the whole process of the things that she had to do. Cause she's like, you know, you wrote a book and you sold it like crazy. And I said, the reason I sold it was I was consistently promoting this book. I promoted that book for four years. See, you, you cannot just write a book and throw it on Amazon and hope it's gonna sell. <laughs> that's, that's just not gonna happen, right? Once again, book, YouTube channel, blog. So we're gonna get into the finer details because like I said, she was very, very delightful. She, she was quite funny, to be honest. And you know, she's got a book and like, you know, you gotta build your whole category. You gotta build your pathway. Now, what do I mean by that? And this is where watching a bunch of videos by YouTubers, like I'll give you a good example. There's this girl and she's put up some really good videos and the videos have gotten views. However, she's been gone for the last two months. Now, this is one of the things that will kill your YouTube strategy. You could put the videos up, they do well, and then you disappear for some reason. She's been gone for two months, almost three months. And I guarantee you, whatever traffic that she had built is going to disappear because I've seen this over and over again. I've seen people put up a video, video get 50,000 views, which is quite good. Video get 100,000 views, which is quite good. And they will disappear. Now, part of this is what I call, what, what, what she's doing is, and she's doing a really good job of it, She's doing research and she's putting her researched information in her video. She's making her video. She's doing, like I said, she does a, excuse me, when she shows up, she does a really, really good job, but she starts disappearing. And I, I can just tell you, there's one guy on YouTube, his name is Mark Rober. And he can put up one video a month and get 20, 22, 23, 24 million views. This guy used to be a actual real life. He used to be work for NASA. He's a scientist and he puts up these very interesting videos. One of his most interesting videos was the, uh, the stolen goods box. He had this box that they left on the doorsteps and anytime someone would steal it, it had all of this razzle stuff. It had fart spray in it. And it would just like freak out on the people once they got home and opened it up. And it was just a complete boot. That series of videos did really, really well because apparently there's a lot of people stealing packages off porches. But Mark has been doing this for years. He has a science, he has a way, and he can put up one video per month and get a lot of views. 
That's something that many YouTubers cannot do. And this is where, you know, like I said, she, she, when she shows up and when she does a video, she does a really good job, but then she disappears. And I see this consistently with younger people. And what I feel is that younger people do not have a work ethic. They can work on something here and there and devote a lot of time and energy, but to, to sustain that work ethic over a long period of time, it's just not in them. It's just not in them. And this is one of the things that's going to have to, um, you're going to have to work out for yourself because let me say this, you can make money online. You can make money online. You can make money online if you do the work. And that's where we're going to get into with the coaching because there are so many people who don't really understand all of the elements and the things that they need to make money online. They know that they want to make money online, but they don't understand the whole procedure. And I think to a degree, some people are scared because they know that there's more to it than this one little simple thing. They, they know that they know there's more to it. And so with this, this pattern of being scared, I think this is one of the things that keeps people away from being making money. And I will say from personal experience, I started in 2009, 2009, 2010, I made money. 2010, 2011, I made money. 2011, 2012, I made a lot of money. And this was smack dab right in the middle of the recession with 10% unemployment. And I was able to create an internet business that made a lot of money for me during the midst of an economic climate that was much worse than what we have right now. Right now, we didn't have the inflation that back then. And inflation is down to like 3.2, 3.6%. And I feel with the recession and the lo loss of jobs, it's just gonna get really much, much lower. It's just going to get lower. But essentially to create a business and this I think is one of the areas that's a big, 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 big part of struggle. There's more than one way to make money online. There is a multitude of ways to make money online. And I will say you can make a lot of money online for content creation. You can. I know a lot of people who make 30, 40, 50, hundred thousand dollars a month from content creation. It's possible. It's something you can do, but you must do the work. And that's the thing. That's one of the big areas that people have problems with is doing the work. Kind of like these people who have these successful videos. Once again, I said successful videos. They don't really have a successful YouTube channel because they keep disappearing and they don't make any more videos. And I can tell you, uh, except for the late great Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels channel is still getting two to three million views per month and he is gone. So that's just a, a test of time. But the average, and there's another channel. And th this is funny because th this is in terms of content creation. Uh, talking Kitty. This guy, his name was Steve. Unfortunately, Steve had some issues and he ended up taking his own life. His channel was getting millions of views. I haven't checked in a while, but he's been gone for like three years and the channel is still getting a lot of views, a lot of views. And his wife, she's still here. Uh, I know she kind of freaked out, but the channel's still making a lot of YouTube money. So you can make a ton of money from content creation, but what I see is the content creation is going into something crazy. And I made a mistake. I, I started looking at some football stuff, uh, college football on a YouTube channel. I should have never done that because college football is extremely popular, extremely popular. And now my channel is flooded with all this football talk. And I'm like, all right, I don't really want to see that. I just wanted to see what I was looking for. I didn't want to see all that other stuff. So you, you got to be really careful on, with the YouTubes. You, you got to be really, really careful. 
So we're going to get it. You know, the goal is to go ahead and do these calls. Um, there's a lot of calls that are booked for next week. And then the week after I should have some calls. And my goal is to get a certain number of calls, talk to certain people and ask them questions. These are not sales calls because I'm not selling anything. I'm just asking questions. And part of this is how much do you know about making money online? Because Yes, you know of people who make money online, but the process, and th this, was, this was funny. I asked someone to say, you know, I need to swallow my pride and go out and ask YouTubers in my niche all the tricks and details, and I just started laughing. You wonder why? 2014, and YouTube was nowhere near as popular back then as it is today. YouTube is killer right now. It is extremely hard to get in contact with an active YouTuber unless you are a bigger YouTuber. If you are a YouTuber with 10,000 subscribers, I guarantee you, you know, if your channel's doing good, your email inbox is full of affiliate offers. I literally have an offer for a stove, an offer for a neck massager, an offer for a portable battery, heaters, and then actually I had someone who wrote me, he's like, hey, I want to appear on your channel so we can have a conversation. And none of this stuff's going to work on my channel. None of it. You know, maybe if I just put it under there just to see what happened and not mention it. And then there are people who want um, conversations. There are people who want me to pitch their products. And to reach a YouTuber is extremely hard. It's extremely hard unless you send them a pitch that they like your pitch and they're open to putting it on their channel. 2014, I tried so hard reaching out to other YouTubers. And if you've never done it, you don't know how hard it is. You, you have no clue because once again, the average successful YouTubers inbox is full of affiliate offers and they're going to ignore most of them because most of them don't make sense for their channel. The majority of them don't. And one of the things that I'm going to get into, because this is something that I just, I, I, I would do it here and there. I would get into affiliate stuff, but I'm really going to work on affiliate offers that make sense for you. If you need to do it, because there's a, um, Two, I'm getting ready to jump on because they will make sense for you because you're going to need what these companies offer to build your internet business. So it's not, you know, just to go ahead and like the, the thing with the, the bike cracked me up. It's an electric bike and they wanted me to do a video about the electric bike. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't even know how that's going to work because, you know, this, this channel is about money and the economy and stuff, but maybe it would work. I don't know, but I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to be riding around here on the electric bike. And then uh, people like what some of the comments were hilarious. I want to see you do push ups. And then it's like, I want to see you become a passport, bro. And I was like, you know, the, that that whole thing and i'm gonna tell you what i thought about doing i thought about doing the gimmick video talking about hey i'm getting ready to become a passport bro i'm selling everything i'm getting rid of everything and i'm moving to thailand and just do the video in a very serious matter and then put up the line uh, a sign that says i'm completely lying i thought about doing that and i was like no that that's because i'm not going to do that but uh, there will not, I will not be coming to passport, bro. I will not be doing that. And, um, one of the things that, you know, during the questions, like the questions, it literally takes you a minute to answer. Um, there's a lot of people who want to write books that kind of shocked me because writing a book and sitting down and writing every day is, 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 is an animal. It's, it's a beast. So there's a lot of people who want to write a book and there's other things we're going to get into. Uh, there's other situations that we're going to get into. There's other things we're going to talk about. And with the mentorship program, I'm going to set it up where it's going to be designed for you to actually get your business up and running in two months. Uh, I was like two to three months because 
that's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be real intensive. It's gonna be me talking with people, going over businesses, looking at stuff, helping them, helping them set up their LLCs. So there's gonna be a lot to that. And um, this all starts December because with my mindset is, if we can do these things correctly, and just kind of stick with me, because like with the mentorship program, I can only do so many being a direct mentor. I can only mentor so many people to help them out. And I think my limit would be 50 if, if we even get to that. Um, and then the group coaching is, is going to be way easier and it's going to be easier to maintain and easier to push. And one of the things that I, I've looked at is the pricing. I've got to make this stuff priced at a point that people can afford it. So that's another thing that's gonna be in. So with the group coaching, it's gonna be very affordable um, the way that I'm gonna set that up. So with this, there's a lot of things that are happening and it just depends upon what you're willing to put into your online business. Can you make a million dollars from online business? Yes. Yes, you can. Can you make a million dollars in the online business in two weeks? I don't think so. Um, I would say two years. Give yourself two years, you can make a million dollars. Two years. Um, it took me three, but with the information and the, all the tools, and the use of AI can actually accelerate things. But once again, there's so many things that's going on. And like with the YouTube training, I, I think watching a bunch of YouTubers and getting all of these opinions will just confuse you. That's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm different because I don't watch a lot of YouTubers who talk about how, you know, you know, I watch them to critique their channel and this is something that I'm gonna put in the training, how to critique a YouTuber's channel. Um, YouTube has changed the face, the, 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 the face mask of the channel where it's, it's a little, I guess it's fresher. So you have to dig a little harder to find certain things, but we'll be talking about that and a lot, lot more. So once again, the goal is to get this all set up the 1st of December, get this going on. And probably this is what's gonna happen. I'm probably going to start the program because I'm gonna have a lot of phone calls. I'm gonna be talking to a lot of people, so I'm gonna have a lot of information. And I'm gonna continue to have information and continue to talk to people as we build this thing out. So if you wanna be part of the program, go below, just fill out the little questionnaires, less than a minute, then book a phone call, and then we can have an understanding of where you are with building your internet business, where you are, because that's the key. I have to understand where you are and then to tell you exactly what you need to do from the vantage point of where you are so that you can actually become successful making money online. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you will go ahead and get into the questionnaire and we will see what happens because it's Thanksgiving next week and then after that we move to December and you're gonna be bombarded with Christmas trees and all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you in the next one.